back. Yep, it's me. I show up once in a while. I know, I'm way off schedule. Oh well, c'est la vie. No, I don't speak French. Anyway, I thought I'd tell you what was going on around here just a little bit. If you see behind me here, with all the stuff on the, the shelves back in here, yeah, I'm rearranging again, so we'll see what happens. I've been fiddling with some inexpensive makeup, and let me tell you, some of it's been okay. Some of it, not so much. Yeah, I might have made, might have lipstick on my teeth. I don't know. Don't care right this minute. Anyway, Flower Beauty. This palette is called Concrete Jungle. Now, the palette itself doesn't really look too terrible. But let me tell you, so far, this black is just not really black. It just, and it blends away to nothing. Now, see, the, the copper one in here, gorgeous in the pan for poo on your face, which is really bad because I absolutely love, there's one of her stick foundations that I dearly love. And there's some of her highlights that I absolutely adore. But some of the, yeah, some of the eye palettes are just not cutting it. And, yeah, she's not in Walmart anymore, but I hear that she's in CVS, which is actually kind of too bad because I don't have a CVS within two hours of here. I got a Rite Aid, not a CVS. Now, the one I've got on my eyes currently is this palette called Jaded, and it's from Black Radiance. And let me tell you, I'm pretty happy so far, considering each of these palettes was under 10 bucks, And I'm going, yeah, I can work with that kind of number. So, I'm pretty pleased with this green palette. And I figured I would look at this green palette to see whether or not I could work with this one and tell Jeff Jeff to go sit on a rock. You know, it. I know, I don't normally buy that level of stuff. But still, it's the principle of the thing. I'm a little over halfway done on the NaNoWriMo, which, is, which means I'm over 25,000 words. So I'm still pretty much on track to be finished on time with the writing challenge. What else is going on around here? Uh, uh, what else am I doing? Oh, I'm talking to some people about a new puppy. There's a breeder that's here in my little town. And it's, you know, you can go there, you can meet all the doggies. They don't breed, but so often on each of the females. They're AKC registered. You can meet all the little family. And currently they're doing what she calls the empty nest. And a couple of the girls are due to go into season in the next three to four months. So it'll be a wait. But they are so cute as little French bulldogs. 
Because both of my doggies, Finnegan is about 10 pounds, and he's, his whole bloodline came from Dublin, Ireland. And they're Russell Terriers, but they're tiny. And I do mean tiny. You know, I just realized I still haven't put on my mascara. You can't trust me. Um, but come February, he's going to be 14 years old. And then we've got a 20 pound, well, she's probably closer to 30 pounds at this point because she just, she's doing that middle age spread thing. And she's part lab and part supposedly a terrier. We're still trying to figure this out because they said that mom was a Russell and I'm going, okay, fine. And they had originally thought that one of their other small terriers had, had bothered the pups. And it's like, and apparently there was a traveling man passing through so we've got these rather strange doggies. She was supposed to be small, and that's why we got her, because we both prefer small dogs, because both of us are starting to have more trouble picking up heavier things. So, yeah, she's come about. June of next year, she's going to be 13. So they're, they're getting on. They're getting up there. Benny, Benny, the little guy, is a little worse for wear than Lolly at this point. Lolly is the little girl. Um, Benny or Finnegan. Yes, we went there. Um, he's starting to have some really bad problems with arthritis in his hips. So... He's getting a little wobbly and all that. But what we're looking at is getting a new pup so that regardless of which of the older dogs goes first, there will still be a friendly face that the other two are already familiar with and bonded with. So, you know... We figured this made sense. So we're we're talking to the breeder and we will see how that goes, but that's gonna be several months in the future. Um I did get inducted into Sigma Tau Delta, which is the International English Honor Society, and I now have my certificate which i've got a frame for it but i haven't put that together yet i've got a lapel pin with the greek letters on it and i have my honor cords so that if i'm able to actually walk for my diploma for a graduation ceremony I'll have my honor cords to be able to wear over my gown. And I still think that's pretty neat. That's some serious bragging rights as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I know. It's not something that a fantasy writer normally looks for, but... I like my bragging rights. I want to wear it on the end of the nose of some of my remaining relatives. (laughs) 
I want to do something that my grandkids can look at and go, wow. Granny wasn't nearly dumb. Because there are days when they look at me like I have lost whatever mind I ever had. You know how that goes. You know, it's kind of kind of like some of the other people that you see doing stuff that don't fit with their public excuse me, public personality. Like celebrities and stuff. And you go, hey, look at them. They're doing all this stuff. They're really smart. Ryan May from Queen got finished his PhD for, for astrophysics. Brian Cox, who was in a different band altogether, but he still finished a PhD in physics. So, you know, you got these two crazed rockers who are like seriously smart. There's a lot of actresses and actors who are seriously smart and carry some really interesting degrees. You ought to go look it up sometime. Because, you know, when they're not working on the stage or in front of a camera, they have plenty to do otherwise. There are people running around on stage that a lot of times are playing rather strange characters. Some of them are playing those who have a lot of brains. Some are playing those who are... less well learned but when they go home and in between shooting and in between and during shooting hiatus and such they're working at their other job some of which is in neuroscience and biology and all manner of stuff so, yeah, bragging rights. I like that idea. I want to acknowledge the fact that I'm not as dumb as I look. So, I've got my certificate, I've got my honor cords, and I've got my lapel pin, and I get routine communications and invitations to submit to the newsletters and the um, yearly publication, all that stuff. And I'm like going, oh, look at this. <laughs> this is great. I feel so special. <laughs> anyway, what else is going on around here? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I have to go to the car shop tomorrow and get my car fixed. It needs 
shocks and struts. Not terribly big news, but it's got to get done. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I got, I ordered a two pound bag of candy corn. Two pounds. Now, do you want to know what I'm doing with a two pound bag of candy corn? Using candy corn and peanut butter and some meltable chocolate dip chips so you can like put a chocolate coating on something the candy corn and the peanut butter mixed together make a non toffee crunch version of the interior of a butterfinger yes I actually found that on YouTube. Now, if you really want it to go crunch snap, like the crisp version of the Butterfinger that you normally get in the in the store, you can put some cornflakes in. I don't think I'm gonna bother. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna make some Butterfinger candy or phony Butterfinger candy to pass around for Christmas amongst things like the rum balls and the whiskey balls and all that. Yes, we do drunken cookies. Why not? So, what do you think? Now that I got my mascara on, I think that's most of the update. I think. I spent a couple of days feeling like I was run over by a freight train. I think it just, the, the body just said, you know, it's cold out. I don't like it. Because I wasn't really sick. I was just exhausted. And I slept all, for almost two days. But no, I wasn't actually sick. There was no fever. There was no coughing. At this point, the only thing that's making me sneeze is dust. Um, yeah, I'm letting my hair grow out a little bit because I was going, you know, I can keep my head shaved and go get me some wigs and use those for the winter. And I said, wait a minute. Wigs are fun. Wigs are cute. Hair growth is cheaper. So, I'm just letting the hair grow out. The heck with it. What else have I been up to? I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next for the Three Looks, One Palette. I'm starting to get into... Um, See, I've decluttered a lot of my stuff, and a lot of it has gone to my granddaughters. They have gotten all up into wanting to do makeup, and one of them is trying to do makeup on TikTok. So a lot of my stuff that I wasn't using anyway has now gone to my granddaughters. So I don't have as much I ain't used it stuff anymore i just don't and i've dropped my ipsy and the allure box i've been doing ipsy pretty close to since i started this so it's a, a, almost two years and i just i dropped it i tried one one level upgrade for one month and then went back to the 12 buck one and then allure was doing the 15 dollar excuse me 15 dollar 
and they had more full-size products. So I signed up for them, and right after I signed up for them, they came out talk, excuse me, talking about wanting to do this big, giant jump in the base box price to like 23 bucks, and I'm going. If I wanted to spend that kind of money, I'd have signed up for BoxyCharm. So I dropped that. And so I'm currently subscriptionless, so I don't have a lot of stuff coming in from that way. I've been looking at some other palettes just because I have some stuff coming in from Shop Miss A. A lot of it's things like, like replacement for the foundation from them that I use and a few other small things. Um, I'll open that up when it gets here. But for the most part, I've actually been getting rid of more stuff than I've been bringing in. So, I'll have to see how the using stuff that I haven't used for a while goes on rotating through. I've also got to do one on my quote-unquote, I have a 10-minute warning to get done up for something kind of thing. And I took a bunch of stuff, and it's in one of my magnetics. And, you know, no rhyme, no reason, just into the box. And I'm going to do something with that. I haven't decided what yet. Um, I actually, with the book and writer review that I did for Ashley Capes and his... Book of Never series. I got myself on my high horse and I emailed him and said, by the way, he swears he's going to go look at it. Haven't seen anything. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, yes, got different earrings. These are just solid metal they ching when they hit together. It's just horseshoes. They're fun. They're heavy. I do these off and on. I've still got all my others that I created that I kind of switch out and switch around and Keep playing with stuff. And yeah, I got one of my blue-green things out, even though this one's a little more spring than fall, but I figured with the, the Black Radiance palette that this will work. And I used my Anastasia Moonchild that I got for I had dropped Ipsy and they said if I came back I would get this so yeah I went back for one month imagine that got this used the green highlight to go with the green palette I'm kind of fond of it. I'm kind of fond of the look. I could probably get several more looks out of that green palette that are not identical. We'll have to see. If it works out, I'll do some more. Now, I tried something. 
this version is not as ideally colored as the one that I saw Nakia Joy do. She got a different one of these lipsticks. It's got the day side and the night side. And the one she got, the day side, which is usually the lighter side, was, you know, not too different from this, you know, kind of a nudie thing. But the night side version on hers was a bit darker. So that when she did the corn the outer corners of the mouth all the way around, it looked more like an ombre effect. And she got a much deeper effect on both sides on, on in the corners so that it was much more obvious that she had on you know varied colors to do the ombre oh well anyhow i'm going to run away now this is probably long enough eh, 20 minutes and change according to the timer on the camera Anyway, if you can think of anything you want to see me do for Christmas looks, let me know. I'm really not feeling the idea of pushing the way I did the last two years to do many, many Christmas looks. Wait a minute, did I actually push much last Christmas. I don't think so. But that first Christmas, man, I did 25 looks in 25 days and that was rough. It was really, really rough. I might have to do this one again for Christmas because it's kind of ollie. Kind of. Maybe. Let's stick a little other on there so that it's a little brighter. We'll see how it goes. Stay out of trouble. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Wear it bright. It goes over your nose and your mouth. It is not there to just protect your chin. Okay? Okay. Don't argue with me about over the nose. I've got asthma and COPD. If I can do it, you can do it. So there. Keep your distance. Don't get into political arguments. It'll just make everybody crazy. Just ask me. Every time I mention politics, somebody gets a burr up their butt. Especially in my little town. I mean, this is a deeply red area, and I am a deeply liberal type person. No, really. No, 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 no. Really, I'm very liberal. If you ever have a question, let me know. I'll tell you how liberal I am. You may not like it. Anyway, there's your update. Be good.